The nation's first trial over trans youth care is underway in Arkansas. At issue, the state's controversial ban on gender-affirming care for minors. The ACLU says that the ban, quote, subverts the rights of parents and threatens medical providers for following best practice evidence-based guidelines. But Arkansas's Attorney General Leslie Rutledge says the ban is about, quote, protecting children. For more on this, we are joined by NBC News out reporter Joe Yurkaba. Joe, good to have you with us. So first, explain to us exactly what is gender affirming care and then what's at stake if access is denied to these kids and their families? Good morning. Sure. So gender affirming care is a really wide umbrella term and it can include everything from social transition, which can just be a child changing their hairstyle or their name uh, to medical transition, which could be uh, puberty blockers at the onset of puberty or hormone therapy for teenagers. Um, I spoke to mom Emily Spurrier, who's an Arkansas mom whose family actually left the state last year because she says the ban would have prevented her trans son from accessing the hormone therapy that he needs. Take a listen to that. A lack of care could have resulted in um, our child uh, going deeper into the depression that uh, he was already in. The Arkansas Attorney General Leslie, Rutch R Leslie Rutledge um, had said that she believes that kids should just be kids. That's difficult to do when your kid is depressed, um, talking of suicide. Emily says that her son is even more himself now. He makes a lot of puns around the house, she says, and he's much more social than he used to be. It's good to hear. And of course, Joe, as you've reported, not every single family can afford to leave the state, which is one of the reasons this lawsuit is happening. Joe, we know both sides agreed on skipping opening statements so they can get right into their arguments. What did we hear from them yesterday? So we heard expert testimony um, from the ACLU from doctors who have been providing gender affirming care for decades now. And they said that, you know, this care is really proven to have positive mental and uh, physical health effects. And the state countered by asking questions about the side effects of this care, uh, such as infertility. Uh, but the doctors noted that any side effects, like with all medical care, are discussed in depth with patients ahead of time. And we know Arkansas was just the first state to put a ban on gender affirming care for minors. The governor there had actually vetoed it. Then it was overridden by the state legislature there. In the year and a half since that happened, since it was enacted in Arkansas, we know at least 22 other state legislatures have at the very least introduced similar policies. So how could the outcome of this trial affect other legal battles across the country? Well, it could definitely have an effect on, um, you know, similar states that have passed uh, similar laws like Alabama, um, which has also had a similar ban um, that was blocked by a judge. So that suit is ongoing. But it could also have an impact in the coming legislative session in the spring when more states are expected to try to pass these. So if this lawsuit is successful, it could make the case for those uh, for those uh, bills less strong. Joe, you're okay, but we know you'll keep an eye on all of it. Thank you so much, Joe. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.